let's go to the git website okay here is the website link for git click on this and we will see a, um, various um, download options depending on the operating system you have and uh, choose the link based on your operating system I would click on Mac OS X since I'm using Mac operating system okay so it says uh, you're downloading version 1.9.0 which is the uh, latest version and it says that download is starting Okay, it's downloading okay so it's downloaded I clicked on the DMG file okay I have the um, the git package and I'm going to open it now to install it okay click on open okay just follow the instructions continue install okay okay so the installation was successful now since we have finished downloading and installing git in our system let's go ahead and confirm uh, the installation so to see if git is installed and which version is installed let us say which git and it will show the location the path where git was installed now I want to see the version of the git I would type git version it shows that the git version is 1.9.0 which is the latest version and now I want to see the configuration settings uh, currently um, that that is there in the git configuration file so I'll say git config dash l so there is only one parameter configured currently in the configuration file and what we want is we want git to know uh, the username and the email so that git can associate the username and the email uh, to any changes that is done to the files uh, or any documents so in order to to uh, make those uh, to in order to set those parameters we need to type git config global user dot name and I will say okay now I also want to set up um, an email to identify myself to get okay get config say global user dot email and let's just say test at the rate gmail Com. okay so now we have set up the username and the user email which is just dummy because uh, I just wanted to show demonstrate this so it's, I've just used the dummy email but uh, you may want to use the correct email which you're going to use and mind that this is global so any changes irrespective of the repository I'm working uh, any changes I do git will identify the username as whatever I have I give here and uh, associate the email with whatever I give here now let us see uh, the configuration file once again just to make sure that these parameters are now set within the configuration file so I would write once again git config 
and, and we now see that we have the username and email set up in the configuration file and whenever we make any changes git will associate those changes with, with the username and, and the email which we have given here I hope this video was useful and you learned how to download, install and configure uh, Git. Please leave your comments and feedback. Thanks.